my channel. It's been a little bit. I definitely am more pregnant. I am 38 weeks pregnant. So I could go into labor at any minute and my hospital bag is not packed. So that's what I'm going to do today. I will show you everything when I'm packed. I have a blog post of everything that I'm packing as well. So I'll link that so it's easier to get, grab the links there. But I want to show you today and also just I need to get it done. Deep breath. I can't breathe. I'm sick. I have not been sleeping and I'm sick on top of being 38 weeks pregnant. So bear with me. For my first delivery, I packed two bags. I had a bag that I took for labor and then I had another bag that I used for post delivery and it worked great, but it was just a crap ton of stuff. And I ended up bringing everything inside. So what I'm doing this time, I'm going to have just one bag. I got a bigger bag and I'm going to do two different packing cubes to keep it separate. So then that way when I'm in labor, I don't have to go dig through everything that I want for labor to, you know, anyway, let me show you what I'm packing. I've got my list right here that I'm going to go through. So this is my bag for labor. Um, I take my own hospital gown because I'm very petite and it was just more comfortable my first pregnancy. So I kept it. I have that of socks with little grippers so I don't slip and fall when I'm walking around in labor because I have a active labor goal. I'm also taking a TENS machine to help with labor pain. So if you don't know what a TENS machine is, it's like a little electro, something like that. Got extra long chargers. Um, hospital outlets are in really weird places, so I bought extra long cords. I've also got all my toiletries. This is mostly stuff I'll use after labor, but there's a few things I might want when I'm in labor. So I have it here, like little face wipes. I have a toothbrush, contact solution, you know, lip masks, toothpaste. Nothing super exciting. Now the bulk of what I'm packing is for post delivery. I am planning to breastfeed. So I have butt and front pajamas, joggers, and then nursing tanks. I prefer tanks over bras because I don't have to wear another top as well. So I just do a nursing tank. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those in case my hospital room is hot. I'm also packing this nightgown that's easy just to pull down to breastfeed in addition to the long pajamas. My nanny slash video producer <laughs> reminded me that I actually have matching pajamas. They sent me a matching uh, set for my baby. So I should take those and stick them in it. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cute. I'll mostly be doing skin to skin, but maybe he can go home in it. Breathe. The other thing that's not very exciting is like the world's biggest underwear. They provide mesh underwear at the hospital to put all the pads and bells and whistles in, and it just doesn't stay up on me. So I bought these last time and they work great. So I bought them again this time. And then I probably won't need a bra because I'll be wearing the nursing tanks, but I brought a really comfy, just like no underwire bra in case I do want something. A sleep mask for sure because the rooms are bright and I also have earplugs in there for both me and my husband. I'm also packing this robe to wear over my joggers and nursing tank over the nightgown. I probably will throw in an extra cardigan that's warmer just in case it's cold in the room. Never know what to expect. I'll just throw this in there as well. Just a long cardigan from Madewell. So neurotic. I'm gonna pack my underwear and bra separately. And another pair of socks to wear around in the post delivery room. I'm also packing these because with my first son, I was retaining so much water. I couldn't put regular shoes on. So I was just slipping sandals on. So this is what I'm planning to do again. When I go to the hospital, I'll plan to wear sneakers in case I wanna wear sneakers home. So then for going home, I got this little matching lounge set from Amazon, sized up. Well, I think I washed it with the tag on because I have washed it. So cool. Definitely taking this nursing pillow. With my first, I had the world's worst nursing pillow in the hospital. It made breastfeeding as a first time mom so hard. And then I discovered this, it like wraps around your body. It's really weird, but it was a game changer. So I'm taking this to the hospital. And it's actually the one that the lactation specialist in the hospital recommended, which why they didn't tell me that when I was there, I don't know. But now I have an excessive amount, so I'm taking them with me. The other thing that I'm planning to take is a pumping bra so I can pump hands-free, but it hasn't come from Amazon yet and I can't find my other one. And I'm actually taking my own pump. The hospital has them, 
but especially if you're a first time mom, I would take your pump so they can show you how to use it. I'm planning to breastfeed, but with my first one, he couldn't latch very well. So it's always good just to have this. I'll probably just keep it in the car. My first one didn't take a passy, but maybe this one will. So got a little passy and a little passy holder that somebody recommended. I don't really know the point, but you know, I've got it. The other things I need to grab are Element electrolytes, super helpful for breastfeeding. I'm also gonna take some snacks. So the other thing I'm gonna do is bring my own pillow for both me and my husband because the hospital pillows were trash and our own blanket. We'll keep that in the car in case we get in there and we're like, oh, this is fine. We don't need to like get our own. But if you do take your own pillow and blanket, make sure they're not white, like just make them look different so they don't get swept up with the hospital laundry. Apparently all I own are white pillowcases, so maybe I'll just write on it. And I'm going to pack a separate bag for the baby. So I'll just take my diaper bag, which I guess I should find that. While we're at it, let me go get it. All right, this is my diaper bag. Um, the hospital provides diapers, so I'll just use those there. But if you want to take your own, you obviously can. You want to have a bag that you can take supplies home with because you'll have postpartum supplies that you're going to want to take home and you might want to take extra diapers as well. I do not have a going at going home outfit picked out for him. Just never really worry about it. So I'm just gonna pick something that looks cute. You can give me this. One thing I would do is pack two different sizes in case like my first son was six pounds, but one of my friends just had a 10 pound baby. So all the estimates can be off. They're saying this current baby is six and a half pounds. So. I'm gonna take this little preemie outfit that my friend gave me. There's no way that's gonna fit him. Zero to three months. Maybe he'll be big. Is that girly? Home outfit. I think it's cute and simple. I don't know. I'm not one of those moms that goes overboard with it. Got a little weird white hat. I think this is actually from the hospital. It's gonna look like a prisoner hat. Yeah. If you fold, it'll be fine. Okay. There we go. Baby boy's got clothes. I know some people take little mittens, so if their baby's gonna scratch themselves. I don't have any, so if he does that, we'll just stick some socks over his hands. And then the other thing that I need to order ASAP, because I'm about to have this baby, is a portable sound machine. We took that to the hospital with our son and kept it by his bassinet, and it really, really helped all of us sleep a little bit better. And fortunately, I cannot find the one that I used before, but I would definitely take your portable sound machine to the hospital. I need to put the car seat in the car. My husband needs to pack his bag, but he can do that himself. And I don't know, I'd say I'm like 70% ready. Got a little bit more to do, but hopefully that is helpful. I'll put a full list of everything that's going in my bag. And I'll also link to the blog post. And if you have any questions, let me know.